everybody welcome welcome back to my channel i've just been crocheting like absolutely crazy recently because i have a bunch of markets coming up throughout the summer so i figured now is the time to give you a haul of what i've made recently before things get too out of hand so let me bring in the crochet stuff okay here's one rack here <laughs> and i have another full basket over here so we're just gonna go through it all. I'll give you the patterns, all the links, all the inspiration, and hopefully you find something that you wanna make or that you just find cute and hopefully you enjoy. We're going to start with these guys because they're my most recent and my most favorite. It's the Jelly Cat dupe succulents that I made. Just look at the... There's also this one that has a couple extra spikes added to it. Unfortunately, the pattern is my own, so... So it does not currently exist, but I am working very hard on it. So hopefully a tutorial will be up soon because I'm just finalizing some things. Now let's just go through this beast of a rack. The koala bear here is actually a pattern that you can find on my page roughly. It's the teddy bear pattern. I will link it. But instead of doing the ears in a plain color, I just did them bigger with white in the middle. And then the nose, I just made a giant oval and sewed it on flat. And I love how it turned out. I have this little peep style bunny. It is from Rose and Lily Amigurumi on here on YouTube. They have tutorials or they also have a website of the same name that has the written patterns if you don't necessarily want the video aspect. Whoops. <laughs> I have a starfish, which I'm sure you've seen a lot because I make it all the time. It's from Spinny Yarn Crochet on their website. You can also find it on Pinterest. And I just love how it turns out and it's no so. Then we have the guy that fell, this little alien. I cannot think off the top of my head where I got this pattern from, but I think it's the cutest thing. I'll write it on the screen somewhere. And I'll probably be doing that a lot because I don't remember where half of these patterns come from. Then we have the heart bear. I love him. Again, this is my teddy bear pattern. And then I just made this little tiny heart that I believe was by my universe 64 on Instagram. They have a million free patterns. I'm pretty sure they had one that was just a little heart. So that's where that's from. And then I just sewed it to the arms and I love how it turned out. Then we have this beast of a creation, the little mushroom man in his little overalls. This pattern, he's a little janky at the back, but this pattern is once again from Instagram. It wasn't my favorite pattern ever to do, especially on the top. I just feel like there must have been a better way to do this because I wasn't really happy with how it turned out. But I will say I love the overalls. So I would recommend using that if you ever want to make clothes for anything. Moving on to our second shelf. You can mostly see what's in here, but we'll go through anyway. We have the little mushroom men. These, I'm sure everyone has seen them somewhere and knows how to make them. It's another pattern on Instagram that I can't think of off the top of my head, but they're adorable and I love them. So I have this one. This is just like a regular one. This one is also just like the regular one that you could make. I was making a bunch of stuff around Valentine's Day. So if, if you can tell, this one is all like hearts for the spots which I thought was just an adorable little touch and I really like how it turned out. Then we have the world famous duck with a butt. I actually think I have a couple more of these hidden around somewhere, but we have this one, but he has legs because I wanted to see just how it would turn out and how much extra time it took, but I kind of love how it turns out and it's just like, it's so unserious. And this pattern is by Zuzu Crochet. XUXU crochet on Instagram. I think it's like one of their very first posts. So you have to scroll down a bit, but it's adorable. Definitely recommend. This one we're gonna come back to later because I have another one. The turtles. Oh my god. I love them. They're so cute. They're the perfect size to just fit in the palm of your hand. Um, this one has its head a little crooked, but I feel like it kind of just adds some character to it. This is by the Friendly Red Fox. I originally found it on Pinterest, but I'm pretty sure they have like a blog that the pattern is posted on and it's a no sew turtle. And you know, I love no sewing patterns more than anything in the world. So I had this one here and I have this one here in like a slightly different shade of green. And I remember last market season, I made them in a bunch of colors, which I'm probably gonna do. I had one in like a pale blue, a pale pink, a pale purple, and they were so popular and I can see why they're adorable. Then we have this adorable little duck. This is from, it's somewhere on Instagram and I need to make more because like, look at it. I'm gonna, I'll write it on the screen, but I think this is just the most adorable thing. And again, no so, so you just kind of go around, you make your little duck and I love how it turned out. These two that I'm about to show you are actually from a video that I've already posted on here of testing out free crochet patterns. If you want to go watch that, I will link it. It is the avocado and the squid. The avocado ended up not being my favorite one ever. 
And the squid I liked, but I don't know if you can totally tell if it's a squid in my personal opinion, but I will link the pattern as well if you think it's cute. This just wasn't totally my vibe, I think. Moving on to bin number three. We're just burning through these. We have a stingray. This one I've made a million times. It's by Rose and Lily Crochet. They have the tutorial on YouTube as well as the written pattern on their blog. I do make my tail a little bit smaller because with this yarn, it's hard to shrink it down a lot. And I just don't have the patience if we're being real, but I still love how it turns out. And I make so many of them and sell so many of them. Then we have the infamous, the leggy frog. I'm sure anyone who's been on any crochet form of social media has seen a million of these. I've made some in blue, one in green, and I love making them with really huge eyes because I feel like it just adds some personality to them. And then I also have one in another one in blue. And I actually need to make a couple more because these always sell really well too. This one, oh my god, this is also from that trying free crochet patterns video I'm pretty sure. It's Gertie the Gecko. I just love how it turned out and I love the little three finger hands. Like it's adorable and it worked up so fast. Definitely recommend. Then we have this little snail. Can we talk about adorable? Oh my god. It is, you do have to sew this back um, shell part onto the snail, but it was very straightforward and I would definitely recommend just because I love how that turned out. It is by Crochet Grove on Instagram and it is a free pattern as well. This one again was a Valentine's Day creation. It's on Instagram. It's called a love bug. I made it for Valentine's Day and I thought it was kind of cute might be a little bit of an odd thing to try and sell in the summer but i'm sure somebody will think it's cute then we have this stegosaurus again not quite sure who made the pattern but i did like how it turned out and it was no so as well which we always love and i like the little humps on the back i think they're cute and simple this one we're also going to put in the other bin until the end because i know i have a bunch more of them so we'll show them all together and finally we're on to the bottom bin here oh that's where the other duck was this is the other duck with the booty I think there might even be one more. I've made a bunch of them, but we have this one. It's so popular at market. So like, I can't really recommend it enough. So make it. Then we, <laughs> we have a traffic cone. This one is from somewhere on Instagram. I will link it, but I really love how it turned out. And I think it's just so cute and just different. Then we have this giant frog. Ignore that he has a tag on the him already, but like, look at him. Are you kidding me? Oh my god, why can I not hold him? Like, look at him. Just look. That's all you need to know. I don't know where the pattern's from either. Then we have a rubber duck. This one I know for a fact is by MyUniverse64 on Instagram. They have so many free patterns, so I would definitely recommend checking them out. This is one of them. Not necessarily my favorite ever, but I do think it turned out quite cute. So if you want something simple and fast, this is the one for you. We have this ice cream cone. Again, ignore that some of these things have tags on them. Whoa. This is my own pattern once again, so I will link it somewhere on the screen and you can go watch. But I personally think they're adorable and I love them. And they're no so. So a win is a win. And then finally, these last two things in here are twins. They're the same thing. They're the two little otters. These are also from the trying... Why can I not hold anything? These are also from the trying free crochet patterns video. So I will find where they're from somewhere on Instagram but look at them. They're just the cutest thing ever, and I love them. My sister did say that they look like a popsicle, though, with the tail, and that kind of makes me think they look a bit like a popsicle, but at the same time, no, they don't. It looks like an otter tail. Anyways, that's it for bin number one, and now we are on to our other big bat. What was I telling you? I knew there was another one in here. Anyways, technical difficulties, as in I ran out of storage, but we're back. Starting strong, we have this little octopus. I love that this one has little tentacles on it because the ones I used to make were just like double crochet bumps and I think the tentacles just really add to it. Next, we have this whale, which I know for a fact is from Rose and Lily Crochet. This one is huge because I used a hook that was too big for the yarn, but I still really like how it turned out. But normally, if you make this with her pattern, it won't end up quite so aggressively large. Then we have these two little chickens. This pattern is from on Instagram. And it normally has a hole in the bottom where you put a chick in, which it wasn't for me. So I just got rid of that part at the bottom and just made them round. This one is the size following the actual pattern. This one I did a round, one or two rounds smaller just because I wanted to see a mini version and see how it turned out. 
and I love them. They're adorable. And I love this tweed yarn. It's the cutest. Then we have the Heart Buddies. I've shown these a million times as well. These are from Valentine's Day. They're by Alyssa's Crochet Creations. Something like that. I'll write the actual username on the screen. They remind me so much of Jelly Cats, which is why I love them the most. And I think they're adorable. I have one in this mixed purple and I have one in plain purple. And I'm obsessed with both of them. We're getting to the bottom, oh no. Okay, next, you've seen it already, the fat butt duck. I just love him. That's all I have to say, I love him. Next, I actually have two of these. We have the carrot. They're a little too curly, I kinda need to straighten them out. But I love how they have the little arms. I think it just really adds so much character to them. This is my own pattern as well, so I will make a tutorial at some point when I think of it and also, when I figure out how to make these like stand up straight because the carrot bunches don't really curl like that. They kind of go a bit, maybe like that. Now he just looks a bit crazy. Next up, we have this crab. This wasn't my favorite in terms of execution, but I mean, it did work and I do think it looks like a crab. This pattern is on Instagram. It was a bit of a pain in the butt to make, but that's just, in my opinion, you might find it super easy if it has techniques you prefer to use, but I think it's cute and I like how it turned out. Next up, we have this little lemon. Don't ask me why I made a little lemon. I couldn't tell you, but it is also by MyUniverse64 on Instagram. Even the little leaf part, which I just love. I think it's so cute and just simple and small, which is what I try and make a lot of for markets because that's what people tend to gravitate towards. Speaking of small, we have probably the miniest things I've made, these itty bitty little whales. I have this little blue and white one. I made a little orange one. I have an itty bitty little yellow one. And I have a teeny tiny little blue one. And I just love all of them and I think they're adorable. And finally, there's only one thing left in here, even though there's four of them, and they are one of my favorite ever. And they are the fat cat. So we have these two beige and white ones. Everybody cheered because look at them. And they even have little tails. There's also these two. I made one in the tweed yarn, which I'm actually kind of obsessed with. I know a cat would never look like this, but I think it's so cute. And then we also just have a plain gray one, which I also think is adorable. Anyways, that is my full haul. If you can see here, um, I've kind of just made a giant pile. Hopefully you saw some things you liked, some things you'll try, or you just enjoyed watching a video of someone who crochets. Stay tuned for more videos coming very soon because it is officially summer and I have all the free time in the world and I'll catch you guys in the next one. See ya!